Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video, I'll be showing you what type of oils I am using for my 1948 South Bend 9A lathe. I had some people request this in the past. For the most part, the oils I am using are synthetic. I've been using this oil since I purchased this lathe in 2016. The reasons for using the type of oils is that I always have it on hand as it's used in my vehicles, but unfortunately it's more expensive. It is a much better quality oil. It has better surface bond, works better across a larger temperature range, less friction, and it doesn't gum up. I'll include the product links in the video description. There you'll be able to find the data sheets for lubricants. First is away oil. The recommended oil for this is Mobile Vactra No. 2, which is a lubricant designed for machining equipment. It's an ISO 68 grade, meaning it's a mineral-based hydraulic fluid. I was originally using Amsoil Synthetic Gear Oil 75W90, which seems to work well. It was almost impossible to find Mobile Vactra No. 2. I'm in Ontario, Canada. I called Brafasco, Fastenal, Canadian Bearing, Granger, Motion, Napa, CarQuest, and other automotive, industrial, and hydraulic suppliers. One or two of the places was able to order a 5-gallon pail, which is far too much, as they don't have enough space for something like that. Many U.S. suppliers don't ship to Canada either. Other places didn't even have alternative listings. So this one was ordered from the U.S. Amazon. Lubrication-wise, Amzo does appear to be more slippery, but in hot weather, the Vactra does have better surface retention. I won't get into the technical specs as I'm using the recommended version. Next is spindle oil. The recommended oil is Mobile Velocite No. 10, which is a hydraulic oil, but also lists its use for spindle applications. For this, I'm using Amsoil Signature Series Synthetic ATF instead. It is used on power steering systems, and it's also a form of hydraulic oil. Comparing the kinematic viscosity, the Velocite No. 10 is a thinner oil. I have been running the thicker ATF and have been closely monitoring the spindle. I do notice a little seepage around these spindle areas and it does require top-ups on the oil caps. I have checked the heat when it's running and there doesn't seem to be any concern either. I'm using the Amsoil ATF in the rear pulley bushings as well. Specifically looking up the Velocite specs, they don't list all the same specs as Amsoil has published. I did look up other brands who supply ISO 22. The viscosity index is used to determine how an oil's viscosity is affected by the temperature changes. The higher the number, the more stable the oil is in different temperature changes. From what I found, the ISO 22 from another manufacturer was listed at 161, while the AMZO product is listed at 165, meaning it's slightly more stable. Next was using the same source for the 4 ball bearing wear test, both using the same ASTM D4172 parameters. The other manufacturer was 0.42 mm, while the AMSOIL is 0.39 mm, meaning that the AMSOIL has a better load carrying property. Next is a gearbox oil. The recommended is Mobile DTE24. This is a hydraulic oil, but I have replaced it with AMSOIL Synthetic Gear Oil 75W90. Both have a 1B copper corrosion rating. Any areas where the AMSOIL has been in contact with has had zero signs of corrosion. There is a substantial difference in between kinematic viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The AMSOIL is at 102.4 CST, which is much thinner than compared to the DTE24, which is only 31.5 CST. At 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, it's closer at 15.9 versus 5.3 CST. However, it will most likely never see these temperatures during operation. Viscosity index between the two, DTE24 is rated at 98, and the 75W90 is rated at 166, meaning it's much more stable at a wider range of temperatures. For all other areas requiring lubrication, Mobile DTE Heavy Medium ISO 68, which is a circulating oil that is required, and instead I'm using the synthetic gear oil as previously, the 75W90. Again, it has the same 1B corrosion rating. The Amsoil version is thicker in both kinematic viscosity temperature ranges. The heavy medium is rated at 65.1 CST at 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit and 8.7 CST at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Its viscosity index is only 95, so it's certainly less stable than the 75W90 for Amsoil. My lathe doesn't get used all the time. While the oil is more expensive to purchase, it hasn't been hard on the wallet due to the limited use. If your lathe is used more often than mine, cost may be a factor for you. 
As mentioned earlier, I always have some oil laying around as it's used for maintenance on my vehicles, and if I ever need more, I can easily order it online, and it typically arrives in a couple days. Do you have any tips or experience for the type of lubricants used on your lathe? Please be sure to leave it in the comments below. This concludes the rest of my video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to throw a like my way and hit that subscribe button for more metalworking videos. Thanks for watching.